Fortnite cosmetics are meant to be an easy and fun way for players to show off their personality and style. But sometimes, that can get out of hand, turning the skins and emotes we love so much into something a little too close to pay to win. What's up, Fortnite fam? I'm Cody, and today we're gonna be taking a look at six times Epic Games seriously messed up by making some simple cosmetics into pay to win competitive nightmares. If we're going to be talking about Fortnite skins and emotes that have been accused of being pay to win, then we have no choice but to talk about the very first emote that was ever considered potentially pay to win by the Fortnite community. And that is, drumroll please. That's the flippin' sexy emote. Ooh, shakalaka sexy. Originally released on March 5th, 2018, in Chapter 1, Season 3, the flippin' sexy emote was a contentious topic when it first entered the game. The emote allowed players to pull off a pretty cool backflip, which would then end with their player landing down on their side. There were two reasons that this emote was considered pay to win in nature. The first of these was the actual action of the emote itself. It had a huge effect on your hitbox, twisting it and then lifting it up in the air in what was essentially a bigger than usual jump. It wouldn't do much against rapid fire weapons, but against a pump shotgun or a sniper rifle, it was fairly simple to leap out of the way of an incoming shot in a surprising maneuver that would catch a lot of people off guard. The second reason the emote was considered pay to win was because of how it left you, lying down on your side. Now lying down on your side is not the sort of position that a Fortnite character would usually find themselves in, and this emote allowed people to hide in some pretty strange locations. When the emote was first released, a lot of people liked to hide in bathtubs with the flippin' sexy emote before jumping out and taking someone down with a pump one shot. All in all, the competitive advantage that was offered by the flippin' sexy emote was pretty small. There aren't bathtubs all over the Fortnite map, so hiding opportunities are limited, and the hitbox manipulation is really just useful for flexing on people. It's not like it's actually going to save your life in most situations. That is probably why people stopped complaining about it, and Epic Games never ended up changing it. Instead of relying on hitbox manipulation like the flippin' sexy emote, you should be focused on actually improving at Fortnite. One of the best ways to do that is by heading on over to ProGuides.com, where we have a bunch of courses and pro coaches ready and waiting to level up your abilities fast. Get to it, bro! Fortnite has had a whole bunch of interesting skins come out over the years, and once or twice those skins have ended up being just a little bit too easy to use when it comes to blending into your surroundings. A prime example of this was the Plastic Patroller and the Toy Trooper, skins that were in June 2019 as part of Chapter 1 Season 9. These two skins were an awesome callback to the old army toys that a bunch of people used to play with when they were kids. Much like real life soldiers, these toys were painted green so that they could blend into their surroundings. Of course, no one wants a soldier to get spotted in the middle of a combat situation. Am I right? Well, that might be the case on a real battlefield or with a toy, but when it comes to Fortnite, hiding in plain sight is a clear competitive advantage that a skin should never have. Epic managed to create a perfect replica of the classic toy soldiers, meaning that they were completely green, which also meant that they could blend into the foliage around the map incredibly well. There are so many green locations around the map, from trees to bushes to literally just the grass, that we kind of can't believe Epic let this one slip through the cracks. When you see gameplay on the skins in action, it's pretty clear to see that there was a problem here. Well, that is before they were changed up a bit. In an effort to keep the look they were still going for, the classic army toy style, while also making the skins no longer pay to win, Epic Games made some changes. They placed brown mud smears as well as some other wear and tear alongside a brighter outline for the skin in the patch right after it was introduced. For players that were annoyed by the change, Epic also allowed players to refund the skin for free. We're pretty sure that Epic Games never actually set out to make a cosmetic that is pay to win. Sometimes the way emotes act or the way skins look just sort of make it unavoidable and it's understandable that they can slip through the cracks if they're not careful. However, sometimes a cosmetic will become pay to win for a completely different reason. Sometimes, a cosmetic will glitch out and change the game altogether. The perfect example of this happening in Fortnite is the Star Wands and the ACDC Harvesting Tools. For some reason, in September 2019, something about these two pickaxes totally broke. 
and all of a sudden, they started doing way more damage than they weren't meant to do. The Star Wand was able to two-shot players, dealing 56 damage per hit when it should have actually only been doing 20 damage per hit. Due to the glitch, if you owned either the Star Wand or the ACDC Harvesting Tool, you suddenly had a melee weapon that could take someone out in two swift hits, which was obviously a huge competitive advantage. As soon as Epic got wind of what was going on, they obviously disabled the keys until they could implement a fix. Real quick though, on the subject of cosmetics, it's time for our question of the day. What is your favorite cosmetic? Let us know in the comment section down below. Before the deep dab was released, there had been a few emotes in Fortnite that arguably gave players a competitive advantage. In fact, we've already spoken about one of them in this video so far. However, none of those skins actually got Epic Games to intervene and change them. The first emote to ever get altered by Epic themselves was the deep dab, and honestly, it really deserved it. After it was released, the first thing that players started to do with it was dodging enemy shots. Much like the flippin' sexy emote, the deep dab allowed players to alter their hitbox, allowing them to dip down and surprise their opponents with a really strange piece of movement. It was pretty easy to duck under a shot and then pop back up with some return fire of your own. This, however, was only the beginning of the issues that the deep dab presented. Not only could players dodge enemy fire with the deep dab, but they could also actually use its hitbox warping properties to enter locations in ways that Epic had never intended. For example, using the deep dab, players could slide underneath a window, stealthily moving around without their enemies ever seeing them, before popping up on the other side unnoticed. Without the deep dab emote, an action like this would be completely impossible. And before long, the Fortnite community was getting seriously annoyed. Players flooded Reddit and Twitter with complaints about how pay to win the skin was. And eventually, Epic finally patched the skin's nefarious nature. It took a ton of pressure, but eventually Epic added a delay to the use of the emote, stopping players from being able to shoot right after they used the emote. This would stop anyone from using it to get the jump on their opponents with a rapid emote to shots. One of the biggest pay to win controversies from chapter two actually came in the form of a crossover item, Deadpool's Dragacorn Glider. After being added to the game, all of a sudden, the vast majority of pro players started to use it. It was big, it was colorful, and it was really obvious. So what would make all the pros on the scene suddenly decide to use it? The obvious answer, as with all the cosmetics we've spoken about in this video, is that it was giving people a huge competitive advantage. And it was once again, all to do with hitbox manipulation. While using the Dragacorn, the player model would flip and contort around in weird ways that no other glider was capable of. This would make it much harder for people to beam gliding enemies out of the sky. The Dragacorn glider didn't get removed from the game immediately. The community was left to debate among themselves on whether they thought this glider should be allowed. Eventually, most of the pros and casuals in the community alike decided that the advantage of the Dragacorn Dragacorn was giving people just too much. It had to go. Epic eventually removed the glider from competitive play while working on a fix, only allowing players to make use of the cosmetic in casual modes. All it eventually took was a change to the animation of the Dragacorn, making those who use it much less twisty in the sky, therefore taking away the competitive advantage. As usual, when a major change like this is made to a skin, Epic offered a free refund one which a whole bunch of people ended up taking. The most recent and arguably biggest pay to win cosmetic that has ever existed in Fortnite came in the form of the Boundless Superhero Skins. The Boundless set is one of the rare skins that Epic actually allows players to completely customize, allowing you to change the primary and secondary colors of the skin. It's hard to immediately see how this could be an issue when it comes to competition, but players eventually found a new way to break it. Not only can you change the primary and secondary colors of the Boundless skin, but you could also change the skin so it had the same colors. The worst offender was the all black superhero skin, where players use black for both the primary primary and secondary color. This resulted in a completely black skin that was incredibly difficult to spot in a shadowy or dark area. Using this skin, if someone sat completely still in a shadowy corner, 
They were almost totally invisible, meaning that they could surprise you at a moment's notice. It felt incredibly pay to win, and after a couple weeks of review, Epic ended up agreeing. In patch 1530, Epic finally nerfed the skin, supposedly making it so that you couldn't use skin combinations like the all black or all white versions of the skin. Unfortunately, this didn't exactly work as planned because players quickly found a way to glitch the game into letting them do it anyway. This led Epic to throwing the whole Boundless set into the vault in competitive playlists with an eventual fix scheduled for patch 1540. Here is hoping to finally putting the Boundless pay to win saga to rest for good. Okay, Fortnite fam, that was our video on six pay to win cosmetics that we think totally ruined Fortnite. Cosmetics in Fortnite should never have an impact on how the game plays, so it's a good thing Epic usually steps in to change things when a skin or emote goes a step too far. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. We are so close to 1 million subscribers, and you know what happens then. The story of our very own Keith Allen. Until next time, good luck out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh,